what is up guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to talk about jujutsu kaisen chapter 227 leaks and spoilers alert this is not the full chapter of 227 this is just the leaks two weeks from now the chapter 227 english version will be released but right now we have some leaks came out from our source so let's get into it yeah. As we can see, uh, chapter starts with Kusakabe not understanding the mechanism behind healing the burnt out curse technique through reverse curse technique. And Yuta right here saying it's not impossible since Gojo just showed it. But usually, it's like engine getting overheated. One has to wait until it's cooled down to reuse. And hearing what Yuta said, Maki says, Reverse curse technique can fix but can't cool down, right? And Yuta says, That's what he taught till now but his understanding was not enough. But Yuta starts to worry that Gojo might be doing something really overwhelming task right now. And right here on this panel, the scene switches to Sukuna and Gojo. While Sukuna once again uses Malevolent Shrine but expands it to its full extent guys and Gojo 2 right here opens his domain again and while Kusakabe shouts at Gojo saying are you stupid what are you thinking and Ino wonders if Gojo is trying to repeat the same thing again but Shoko rebutes him saying Gojo is in such a softy and Higuruma notices that Gojo has switched the conditions of the inside and outside of the domain meaning that Gojo's barrier now is strong against attacks from the outside while Kusakabe whines wondering how can Gojo switch up the conditions of his domain so easily and right here Sukuna punches and starts to land on Gojo because Sukuna can use domain amplification simultaneously while using his domain expansion so a monster Sukuna versus monster Gojo what a fight Gojo right here is saying who cares but he then realizes that Sukuna must hit effect from the shrine also seems to turn off. So the sure hit effect from Sukuna's domain has been turned off as of the moment. And the reason why Sukuna turned off his slashing attacks is to concentrate his curse energy attacking harder from the outside resulting into Gojo's domain breaking again for the second time as they engage again into hand to hand combat. And Kenny explained that the people who doesn't get affected by Gojo's infinite void are Gojo himself and the person he is touching. Sukuna kept in touch with Gojo to survive void and got rid of his musket effect inside the domain to enhance attack power outside Gojo's domain. So this is like cheating from Sukuna and Kenjaku. Sukuna has a heads up information coming from Kenjaku that if he touches Gojo after he activates his domain, he will not be affected by Infinity Void. That is just pure advantage from Sukuna. Not knowing this, Gojo is really shocked that Sukuna knows the weakness of his domain. And due to all that, Gojo once again loses the domain battle against Sukuna. And Yuji wonders why and Kusakabe realizes Sukuna might also have changed the conditions of the domain like Gojo. So Kashima comes forward and says, if Gojo dies, he's really gonna go out and fight Sukuna. I'm really hyped up this fight, Sukuna versus Kashimo. This is going to be a good one. But to everyone's surprise, Sukuna cuts iron too deep. Kusakabe tells everyone that it's due to falling blossom emotion. A curse technique, a secret anti-domain technique passed down in a big three families. And Gojo tells Sukuna he had learned it when he was a kid but hadn't used it so far. And Gojo once again uses his domain for the third time but this time he expands it very largely. And Kashim says Gojo's doing it to cover Sukuna's range. And Higuruma says although it won't be destroyed from the outside, it's useless if he loses in the inside. But contrary to everyone's expectation, Gojo surprisingly shrinks his domain range to the size of a tiny ball. So what a leaked chapter guys from the chapter 227. So hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, hit that like and subscribe button for more Jujutsu Kaisen updates and anime updates. I'll be having a daily update on Jujutsu Kaisen and other animes on my channel starting next week. So you keep that notification bell turned on and I'll see you on the next one.